part two. When someone grabs, pushes, or places their hand on your shoulder, one way to deal with this is to allow them to do so. By moving your shoulder back, it will give you a clear winning advantage, as I explained in part one. They will extend their arm towards you and this will straighten their elbow. It will also stop them attacking with their other arm. Place your open right hand on their wrist, gripping it tight on your shoulder, while placing your left hand on their elbow simultaneously. Turn your body as you push their elbow towards the ground. This will push their arm towards them and make it easier for you to lever them to the ground. You can use this method with other techniques I'll show you in the coming parts. Also, taking a step back with your right leg will allow you to place them flat on the ground. When the attacker touches her shoulder, she moves it back to allow him to extend his hand out further. This is explained in part one. A monkey grabs hold of a branch when it's about to fall from the tree. This natural response is something we still have. This also allows you to be able to control the arm and shoulders to move his other arm back. When a person reaches out, they have to have the other side of the shoulder move the other way. This means the arm is unable to react until he pulls back the shoulder he's using to grab your shoulder. Now as soon as she moves her shoulder back to allow him to extend further, her arms are raised for two reasons. The first is to make sure the other arm doesn't extend towards her and attack. The other reason is to place one hand on top of his hand and the other on the outside of his elbow. As I explained in part one, if someone grabs you, it means they think you're vulnerable or lesser than them. And it's important to deal with this situation in the correct way. Here she places the right hand on top of his hand and her left on the outside part of his elbow. This will lock his arm in place. As you can see, it's shifting his body. His body position means he's not able to use his other arm to attack. Like I said in the previous part, you never know what can happen, so it's always good to be prepared. Now at this point, if he was to struggle, it's very likely that he will injure his elbow. If your reactions are not immediate, then your movements will not work. One of the few ways that they can get out of this is by getting behind her from the right side of her body. All your movements should be done fluently, just like how you drive a car. If you're slow with your reactions, then you're likely to crash. She pulls him down, adjusts the body to be balanced and applies pressure to the elbow while holding his hand firmly in place. There are three parts to pay attention to. The first is the other arm. The second is the hand closest to the neck. And the third is your speed of reaction. The speed of your reaction determines the effectiveness of your movements. This is an initial movement which allows you to take control of the attacker or escape depending on the situation. This movement can be used with other movements shown in the coming parts of this series. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, consider subscribing, leave a comment and if you know someone that can find this useful, please share it with them. Until next time. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you feel, and smarter than you think.